This is a no repent indicator and in this video I'll be showing you guys the exact strategy to follow in order to increase your win rate exponentially. I'll be showing you guys the exact settings to follow every rules and regulation you need to um, follow in order to increase your win rate while scalping with this trading view indicator. This indicator is perfect for both crypto scalping, stock scalping, forex scalping. You can just name it option scalping. This indicator I've tested it, it works for all this market I just listed. And I'm going to be using it on the 15 minute time frame. And this indicator works probably as well on higher time frame. So yeah, let's just dive into the indicator section so that I'll show you guys how to bring this indicator on your chart and the settings you need to follow. So to pull this indicator on your chart, you just have to head over to the indicator sec section right here, click on it and then click on technicals. After you click on technicals, the next thing to do is to type all candle. It should be all candle. You can just type all candle stick patterns. And this is the indicator you're going to be selecting. The owner is unknown. So just select this all candle stick patterns indicator. After you've selected the indicator, this is how um, the settings is likely to be. Now you have to head over to the settings section right here to adjust some settings, to tweak some settings. Now first of all, I like changing this label color bullish, this bullish color um, to green, you understand? And um, I prefer, yeah, I prefer leaving the bearish color to red. Now the next thing is to click on style and then click on visibility. There's nothing to be changed there. All the parameters, they are okay. Now the settings I'll be going with, I'll be unchecking this, unchecking this as well. I'll be unchecking this as well. Now I'll be going with engulfing, which is very, very important. I'll be going with evening star. I'll be going with uh, evening doji star. I'll be going with evening star as well. And um, I'll be going with hammer. I'll be going with Hanging Man and I'll be going with uh, what's it called? Morning Doji Star and I'll be going with Shooting um, shooting Star What else? What else? I think that's all. You can just carefully look at the settings I'm using here. So these are the candlestick pattern I'm, I'm likely to get a signal on and that's what I've selected. Hanging Man and the rest you understand. So yeah uh, the, I think we're done here, we're done here, right? So, so let's just click on OK and um, oh, we're back to the chart. Now to enter a buy position or a long position, you have to wait for the indicator to bring a buy signal. You understand? Before jumping on your trade. And um, let's just wait and watch what is happening. Now we have to wait for a buy signal to be printed before jumping on our trade. What just happened on the chart? We just printed a clean buy signal. This BE signifies very um, fully engulfing candle. You understand why this BE right here signifies bearish engulfing candle? What happened here? This green candle you're seeing have successfully engulfed the previous bearish candle which this indicator is now signaling a trend reversal to the upside. So if we are to enter our long position here, let's end, if you are to enter your long position here, it has to be at the close of this bullish candle, bullish engulfing candle. Your stop loss should be slightly below that candle. You understand the previous bearish candle, that is where your stop loss should be slightly below. Because if you notice we have some liquidity there at the previous bearish candle now your take profit is likely to be this um, price level right here is likely to be this liquidity price point or you can still as well target this liquidity price point right here as your take profit area so let's wait and watch what will happen to our trade now this is the one is to 3.9 weeks to reward ratio almost one is to four weeks to reward ratio let's wait to see what the outcome of our trade will be okay we are still going. Hopefully we should get to take profit one soon. We just smash take profit one. We got a rejection from there. Any moment from now we should take out take profit one. Because since the indicator have indicator haven't printed a berries signal, I think we are still in a win trade. Good. Good, 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 good. 
Yeah, yeah, nice one, man. So we just smashed our clean take profit too. You understand? Clean take profit too. Like I told you guys, this indicator is a non-return indicator. You understand? This is a clean indicator, an accurate indicator. You don't want to present accurate. No trading view, no trading indicator is hundred percent accurate. You understand? That's how you you have to uh, bring your knowledge of price action to know where the credit price point are because they are likely to be uh, magnetic areas. You understand? They are likely to be an area of price attraction. So always target liquidity price point as your stop loss area and also liquidity price point as your take profit area to be on the safer side. Now to enter your sell position or your short entry, you have to wait for the indicator to print a red signal to indicate a red label at the top of the candle you are entering your position from. So let's, uh, let, let's watch and see what happens. Let's wait for a red signal to be printed before we proceed with our entry. Now we just printed a real sell signal at the top of this bearish candle. This B is the price bearish and open candle. You understand that that's what the do in name. And as you can see, this bearish candle right here have successfully engulfed the previous candle. So that's why the PD came out with this bearish and coffee. You understand? So let's enter our short position at the close of this bearish candle, which we call this signal on top. So you're entering your short position there. Your short stop loss area should be this price point right here. This should be your stop loss area. Let me change this to red. So this should be your stop loss area and then your take profit will be on the safer side you understand so you can okay let me I, i'll come back to that your take profit area should be this liquidity price point right here liquidity price point right here. these areas these points are likely to be a magnetic uh, um, uh, um area for price action they are likely to be a magnet for price action now if you want to target for that um price target I would advise you don't go further from your take profit one. So this price point, we have a liquidity zone here as well, a liquidity zone here as well. So if I'm to target my second take profit area, it will be this price point right here. So let's adjust this, um, our entry to see what's up. So this trade is a 1 is to 2.0 risk to reward ratio. One, no one is to do because we are yet to adjust our stop loss. Now the truth of the matter is, I would advise your stop loss to just be slightly above the liquidity price point area. You understand? So yeah, in order to be on the safer side. So as you can see, this trade is a one is to two point nine weeks to reward ratio. So let's wait and see how the trade um play out. Okay, we came close to our take profit one. We just got hit, take profit 1, just got hit, so let's wait, hopefully we should hit our take profit 2 as well, good. So our take profit 2, two just got smashed, what did I um, um, tell you guys a couple of minutes ago, I told you liquidity price point area are likely to be magnetic areas, you understand, they are likely to be price attraction areas. What happened when we came to take profit 1? We got some reaction there. Price broke, took out our take profit one, and then we printed the bullish candle afterward before then, and then we broke the previous stop. So we came down again, took out the take profit two. After we took out the take profit two, what happened again? We printed another bullish candle. So your take profit zone should be liquidity zone because they are likely to be price attraction areas. 